In this video lesson, we're going to be looking at how to set the basic options and preferences available to you in Microsoft Word. And we do this on the Tools menu, and we drop down to Options. So that's Tools, drop down to Options. This opens up the Options dialog box with a whole host of different settings that you can use. Now, you would not be expected at this basic level to know much about any of these, but it's always worth spending some time just reading them. Not necessarily to know what they do, but just be aware of the kinds of things that are there. For example, we can choose whether or not we have the status bar at the bottom of the screen, at the bottom of your application or not just by putting a tick in or out of those boxes. The screen tips, those little yellow comments that pop up while you are working, we can switch those off and on. So there's lots of different options, lots of different tabs, but there's only a couple that we're really interested in. The first one is the user information tab. Again, it depends on how your computer is set up, your name may well already be in this box. If it isn't, you can type your name in. Why would you? The computer uses this information and it embeds it into the document, which can be seen by anybody, if they know how, to see who created the document. So you can add your, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So we can add your name there. You can put your initials. You can also put your address there. Now, Microsoft Word will also use this information in any of the wizards. If you remember, a couple of videos ago, we looked at creating a document based on a letter wizard, for example. Well, this is the information that the computer uses to build that letter. It saves you having to type it in again. So we'll just look at where that is again. Just cancel. It's Tools. Drop down to Options. And select the User Information tab. And make sure the information in there accurately reflects you. So the computer can use that information in wizards to create things like letters and faxes, but it also embeds it into the properties of the document. You then select OK. And just to show you what that means, and this is outside the remit of this level of learning really, but any document that you've got open, if you click on File, and drop down to properties it brings up information about the document and on the summary there it shows you who the author of the document is Ron Taylor and it picks that information up from the dialog box that we've just been working with tools and options that was tools options user information and type in the information that reflects you. The next thing that we want to look at here is the File Locations tab. This allows you to specify where various documents are on your computer. And really the only one we want to look at is this top one, the Documents. It gives you the location of where the computer will store your documents by default. Remember when we clicked on File, Save As, it came up with My Documents. That's because here we're telling the computer to do that. We can change that. Let's modify it. So that instead of opening up in My Documents, the computer will always come up with Desktop. We then click on OK. And OK. And let's try that. So if we want to save this document, we click on File, Save As, and now, rather than the saving being my, my documents, 
it's automatically saving on the desktop. It's the default location. Let's see if we can set that back again. Tools, Options, File Locations on the tabs, choosing which modification we want to make, in this case where documents are saved, click on Modify and choose the new location. And it can be any folder of where you want the default document to be saved. Sometimes when we make alterations to the way in which the application works, we need to close the application down to see the changes. So we reset that as My Documents. If you close the application down and reopen it, sometimes you need to do that to make those changes. So now when we do File Save As, the default is there to save in My Documents. So that's setting basic options and preferences using tools. Drop down to options. Using the options dialog box. Many, many different preferences, but the only two we're really interested in are the user information, where you can fill in that information to be used in wizards and embed into your documents, and file locations, where we can modify the default location for where documents are saved.